In the afternoon of October 7th, I got the go-ahead to go on a free hunt mission. I was sent to the area south of Stalingrad, where in the last week, hostilities have intensified in the sector of the Soviet 57th Army, and there was an increase in flights carried out by the enemy. It should be an exciting mission. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to another exciting episode of our Fortress on the Volga campaign. Today we are doing a free hunt mission, just me and my wingman here, and we are already across the Volga heading towards this little town here, and then we are heading down towards where the Romanian troops are, which should be interesting. We're currently taking some anti-aircraft fire, you can see Stalingrad off in the distance, up in a blaze, as per usual. So far, uh, the skies have been relatively clear besides the flak. We are hearing a lot of radio chatter, however. Looks like some 109s engaging something and uh, some Heinkels being shot at. I have no idea where where that is, though. Uh, looks like we need to turn on a heading of 180. We can manage that, right? But yeah, we have quite a bit of cloud cover as well, which will, which will make things interesting. Okay, I do have an aircraft. One o'clock out there. A formation of three. Okay, let's throttle up. 1.2 ATA. I'll try to intercept these guys, whatever they are. Looks like a flight of three aircraft. They're moving pretty quick. They could be fighters. I don't want to tangle with too many fighters, though, uh, if there's only two of us. I think I can take three, but... All right. Let's see what these guys are. Okay, one of these aircraft has turned into us. Let's pour on the coals. See what he is. Okay, you want to go head on with me with my 20 millimeter gun pods, bud? We can do that. There we go. Hit him a couple of times there. Let's roll over, get back on at six o'clock. I mean, this yak is pretty much out of the fight already, but uh, we wanna be sure. And these Russian aircraft definitely are sturdy. Looks like he's leaking fuel from two tanks and then leaking uh, coolant. There we go. Puncture another fuel tank, and I think that may be it for that yak. I have two aircraft on my six. Let's uh, let's assess the situation. Oh boy, uh, there are two yaks. Where's my wingman? There he is. He's up high. Okay, swing him back around. Try to reverse this. Yak's coming in. Oh boy, I do not like that. Okay, he's turning. It looks like he's preoccupied with my wingman. Come on. We need to pick up some speed and we lost a lot of energy. Okay, one's passing up above. We'll stay on this one at 12 high. There he is. Yep, he's on my wingman. Let's uh, send a few rounds his way. I actually tickled him with MGs. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Hit him right in the tail with a 20 mil. Let's check our safes. We don't know where number three ran off to. Looking clear. Want to make sure, though. We were hit a little bit. Yeah, okay, yeah, we do have quite a few bullet holes on our right wing. That can be patched up rather easily, I suppose. All right, let's continue to close in on this yank. He's on a shallow dive.
So number two down. I bet that pilot was pretty wounded after that first hit, the way he was flying. Let's look for number three. I actually don't see him, but I do have a plane behind me. Is this my wingman? I sure hope so. I honestly think it's a yak. Not sure where my wingman ran off to. Keep our eyes on this guy. Is a yak. All right, here we go. Deflection shot. I think I may have nicked his left wing with MG fire. Nothing serious, but here we go. We're in a pretty good spot now. Diving down upon him. up high. I have another aircraft really high above the fight. And I have three aircraft passing below us. What, the, what are these? IL-2s? Oh, brother. I can't pass this up. Let's do one quick pass. Uh, disrupt them before they hit our probably Romanian friends. fun with that oil leak. Fuel leak, excuse me. The best way to hit these IL-2s is uh, under the radiator. Well, is their bellies. That's where the radiator is. That's definitely a weak spot. And I have lost our yak friend. I'm going to swing back around and... Oh, that IL-2 is done for. Just splashed, literally. How's ammo? Dude, we have so much ammo still. Fantastic. Okay, let's go in for the rest of the IL-2s. Was that a IL-2 that... Oh, there's five IL-2s. I guess there were a flight of six. Okay, let's bring our throttle back a little bit. I am not sure where... All right, can you form up, buddy? I'm not sure where our wingman ran off to. Probably still, he has to still be alive. Also, I don't know where that yak ran off to. That is definitely a concern here. All right, coming up beneath the formation. We'll hit one directly here. That was a pretty darn good hit, if I do say so myself. He is still flying. And uh, we don't want to overstay our welcome. We need to hit a couple of these guys and get out of here before um, more Russian fighters show up. Because if we're by ourselves... Um, there's not much... There we go. One just splashed. There's not much we are going to be able to do against, like, a flight of four yaks. I'm not sure where our wingman ran off to. He may have engine trouble or something. Okay, let's go for number one. Oh, turkey shoot. There we go. That's number two spinning out of control there. And you know, whenever I'm uh, busting IL 2s open, uh, the gun pods suddenly become <laughs> uh, yeah, much nicer, let me tell you. Um, definitely have their purpose. But when dogfighting a yak, can't say I really appreciate them all that much. Okay, we'll do the same strategy as we did with the first attack. 
A little bit quicker, though. Oh, we're down to MG. Aim for the canopy and get out of here. All right. Goodbye, my friend. We need to head back towards Stalingrad and then Potomac. Good day's work. Hopefully my wingman finds me. I I have no idea where he's at, where he is though. I have a little bit of battle damage, but all in all, what? We shot down four aircraft, three IL-2s, one Yak. Oh, we shot down we shot down five. An ace in a day, it looks like. That's a little that was easy. Where's my where's my button? <laughs> Uh, well, I guess now the main fear is, hello there. Oh, there you are. There's my wingman. It's nice of you to, uh, show up way up there. Okay, well, we will climb to the cloud base, I suppose, and regroup with him. That's good to know he's not dead. He's still alive. And, uh, hopefully we can get back home without being bounced by, you know, a bunch of angry Soviet airmen. So I went ahead and decided to finish our mission route that we were assigned because, you know, uh, we did have a little bit of MG left and looking behind me, we got we got two friends following us, which is not good. We're also taking a ton of flag currently. Hello there. My wingman finally decided to form up on me, which is nice. Um, those kind of look like radials to me, so they're probably LA-5s, a pair. Huh, how far are we from Potomac? We are pretty close. And drag him over some flak, I suppose. Oh my gosh. Okay, I thought my wingman was one of them already right up on my six o'clock. Okay, let's just head north. We should actually be able to see Potomac from here. Should, I say. Yep, there it is. Off to one o'clock. All right. Looks like 109s are taking off. Help relieve us. Okay, let's throttle up. Push our engine a little bit. Go into a shallow dive to get there a little quicker. We'll see if these uh, enemy aircraft follow us all the way here. Although we can fight with just our two machine guns. I'd, I'd rather not. And they're still tailing us. Or at least I'd rather be close enough to Potomac to where if I get hit too badly, we can run on home and land. Okay, let's swing around. See what these guys uh, have to say for themselves. All right, I'm here at LA-5. Holy shit, that guy was much closer than I thought. Wow, okay. Um, that hurt. Are we okay? Okay, go back towards Potomac. I did not see that one. Blended in with the ground. And our other 109 friend, does he have one on a six? He does. Let's see if we can get, oh yeah, they're both engaging that one. All right, let's go try to help our wingman, even though it's probably a horrible mistake. I don't see where we were damaged. I think all my control services are working. No, I can't be 100% sure. Here we go, here's one. I don't think we're gonna be able to do much with this armament situation, though. He's going back in for the wingman. They are very... Oh my gosh. Hell yeah, that LA-5 just got torn up. My plane is not stable anymore, though. I'm tickling them. Oh, I started a fire. With my last few rounds. Is 
There he goes. Pilot's bailing out. Okay, we need to land. I'm out of ammo. And there we go. The reinforcements have arrived. Probably that flight that just took off. Okay. Well, I'm sure they will finish off the last LA-5 rather easily. Startle back before we blow our engine. What a mission. I think that's our most kills yet. Okay. Startle way, way back. Yeah, my plane is definitely torn up. I'm curious to see where we took most of that damage. It may have just felt worse than it really was. Okay, we're going to circle around and come in for hopefully a nice and smooth landing. Looks like a pretty big furball developed over there. There's an aircraft streaming fuel on the deck. That's maybe the LA-5? I have no idea. Anyway, our landing lights are on. Let's start dropping flaps a little bit. We want to land on the northern runway. Oh, yep, there we go. There was an explosion right there. Okay, throttle way, way back. We're going a little quick here. Go. Gear down. Okay, I'll startle up just a little bit. Nice and easy. What is that? Is that a 109? I hope so. Looks like he's pretty torn up as well. Wonder if anyone was shot down in that engagement. Alright, well, let's focus on the task at hand here. Nice and easy. Hopefully we don't bust anything this time around. Like our last landing, which was uh, less than ideal. I guess the mechanics were a little upset with me after that one. Pretty understandable. There we go, a little bit of bouncy. Okay, break, break, break. And we are down. Well, here we are, everybody. Mission accomplished. We were in the air for 30 minutes and 2 seconds. We destroyed 3 light aircraft and 3 medium aircraft for a total of 6 aircraft destroyed. Let's check the event log and see our entire route here. Uh, pretty much flew straight back here. All of the aircraft we shot down along the way. Any friendly losses? No, it doesn't look like it. Here's the LA-5 we got. And then the other LA-5 was destroyed right near Potomac. It looks like there were some losses over here, though. An HE-111. So that was uh, what, we're, what we were hearing over the radio at the beginning of the sortie. Anyway, that's going to do it for today's episode. I do hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment, as it really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you all on the next one.